Oh, we're the Crimson Armada, and we're from Columbus, Ohio. I'm Sode, and I do vocals. I'm Yates, and I play bass. I am Josh, and I play guitar. I'm Dan, and I play guitar too. David, I play drums. Our first show is with Dead to Fall and His Blood Runs Black. Uh, so, Dan and I started the band with an old guitarist, bass player, and secondary vocalist like three and a half years ago. And then through random lineup changes, we ended up with Yates, who was like an old time friend playing bass, and we got rid of our guitarist last November and Josh moved down from Massachusetts around the same time when we picked him up and it's been solid since then. We're just a bunch of dudes who like to play music, um, who happen to love God and we don't like to be really preachy about it. We talk to people after shows if they're interested in talking to us, but um, we just like to hang out, have a good time and play some music for kids who like to party at a show. <laughs> Um, our musical influences have no reflection whatsoever on our music. Um, I'd say that collectively we maybe have one band in common that we like, and it's probably As I Lay Dying. Mostly our musical influence just comes, like is random, like whatever we're feeling at the moment or just whatever we think of, we, we want to sound like or whatever we are into at the moment. I don't, I don't know that we are really different, like, we want to, I mean, we don't want to be like everyone else, but everyone sounds like someone, um, we all have our influences, so um, we're going to always sound like someone else, but I think, if you, if you listen to our album, you know, you hear a song and you're like, oh, that's the Crimson Armada, but um, as for having any, like, unique characteristics, I don't think we have any, other than we're Joey Sturgis core. If we, I had to describe the Crimson Armada in one word, I would definitely say awkward is the best uh, description because when you think about it, we are five very non-metal dudes playing very metal music and we don't look like metal kids, we uh, don't listen to metal music, um, yeah, awkward. There's not a whole lot of pressure being on Metal Blade, like, uh, we feel that we do have you know, maybe a standard to some time live up to, but right now, being a young band as we are, there's not a whole lot of pressure. Um, we were all real stoked when we got signed, though. It was the one label that we never even thought that we would get an offer from. We actually uh, were about to send out press kits to every label you could think of, and the one label that we weren't going to send anything to was Metal Blade because we thought it was just such a joke to even consider getting signed to them. My favorite song on the album is probably The Architect. Mainly, uh, I mean, it's not that much fun to play, but lyrically it's it's very personal and uh, it's, uh, all, it's pretty much a worship song that is also a metal song at the same time. Desecrate is one of my favorites. I, I love In The Eyes because I didn't write any of the music so I can say and not I don't know, be cocky about it but I love In The Eyes, it's a sweet song, it was really well written. Um, I love playing The Sound Before The Hour, it's just a real fun song to play and I had zero say in what was written in it so I also can enjoy listening to it and playing it a lot more than everyone else. Um, I've done just about everything you can do on stage. I've fallen on my back and back flipped not like back flip, but back rolled. Um, I have like hit my shin on the corner of the drum riser and fell flat on my face. Um, what else have I done? Um, I've fallen off of uh, off of a uh, eagle box into uh, into like the pit area. There's probably a lot more that I'm forgetting, but yeah, I've I've just about bruised myself in every way that a vocalist can. Um. I think I never get hurt or do anything like that, or I don't think I've ever even broken a string playing in this band. But one time I did play three fourths of our set with my uh, tuner on mute, 
and I couldn't figure out what was going on and it was probably the angriest I've ever been during our set and then after our set when I figured out what was wrong I just wanted to kill somebody <laughs> it was horrible um every single time we play with attack attack something goes wrong except for last time last time was sweet um but the first time was at uh, Peabody's and I we, we were playing Guardians as our opening song and I I rung out open and like my my bottom string broke it just snapped and I didn't have another guitar off the side because I was like yeah nothing's gonna go wrong like she was gonna be sweet and um, I ended up getting a, a guitar from another one of the bands that played in a different tuning so I was trying to like I was trying to just play their guitar their strings are three gauges lighter than mine so like I was just like almost breaking their strings every note I hit it was just awful I was so frustrated it was the worst show of my life. It just it was awful. I've just fallen just a few times because I'm pretty clumsy, so that's about it for me. <laughs> David's good. I mean, I'm just going to say I'm the best driver out of the band, but there's going to be an argument. Okay, Yates is a really good driver. He is. There's no doubt he is. But I don't think he's the best overall. Dan is a sweet driver. He has never done anything that scared me. Yates has hit a few curbs. Um, David's not allowed to drive. Hold on. Well, okay, David David I know can drive. He just isn't allowed to drive the van and trailer. I personally think I'm a good driver. I've never been pulled over in my life. Never gotten a ticket. Um, I can I drove for 15 hours straight, like, on our last tour. I mean, I don't know. I think I'm the best driver, but, okay, here, David. Yates doesn't want me driving the van because he was riding with me a lot when I just got my stick shift car and I would stall out a lot. Wouldn't pay attention sometimes and swerve because I'm trying to figure things out. And that scared him. This is what I think because he had no problem with me driving the van before I got a stick shift. But, and now he's just he just thinks I'm a bad driver. I'd say technically the worst driver is not with us right now with our crew. Uh, he's our tour manager and merch guy. His name is Nick. And technically, he's the worst driver because I think he got a grand total of three or four speeding tickets last year. He's, he's on driving probation. Oh. But Dan's still a better driver. Dan's not on probation. Who, Nick or Dan? It's a tie between Dan and Nick. Tie between Dan and Nick for worst driver. My favorite place to play is probably um, Fort Worth, Texas. We've only been there once, but uh, the show there was really, really awesome. And there was like probably the biggest turnout of kids that we've ha ever had on tour. So, and everyone there was just really stoked and really awesome. And there was even like girls dancing in the mosh pit, and that was awesome. For me, it's honestly a tie between Shreveport, Louisiana, and Waco, Texas. I'd say. Both of those places are my favorite place to play. We always have an amazing turnout. The kids are always awesome at shows, and the promoters, well, the promoter at the venue in Waco is by far my favorite promoter. And in Waco, Texas, that would be my favorite venue. It's called the Art Ambush. I think I'd have to agree with So that um, that show in Texas, and uh, was it Fort Worth? It was just, it was so sweet. I love, Texas shows in general are sweet. Kids always come out. Um, Shreveport, Louisiana is also amazing. There's, there's tons of kids who always come out and like love to come back and just hang out with us and talk to us. So, I think it's probably a tie between Shreveport and all of Texas. Probably a tie between Shreveport, Louisiana, and Waco, Texas. Just because there's always a good turnout. The kids are always nuts, and uh, we've made a lot of like, well, not a lot, but a couple friends in both, uh, in both cities uh, that we still keep in touch with sometimes and good stuff.